hey, congratulations for no no ghost in the morgue. Thank you so much. Um, so, uh, how does it feel that this film was showcased here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? Amazing, absolutely, absolutely amazing and incredible. <laughs> it's actually our world premiere yes. here, mm. and we also won the best short film award. So live action, sh- best short live film. action short film yeah. award. So it, it, it's it's a huge thing. I think yeah. it's gonna really um, help the movie, help the movie, like see move forward, move and forward, and see like uh, where we can get into other festivals as well, and just get to get it to more audiences who can yeah um, enjoy it, enjoy it, yeah. yeah. So, so tell us what originated your short film. What, what sparked the idea? Um, <laughs> it's actually she, a very she's a writer yeah. and director. It's actually a very pandemic uh, film. So, <laughs> I think it kind of comes from a bit that 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 kind of sense of, you know, we were all stuck and we didn't really know where our lives were going, what our lives were going to be, and. Um, also, like there was a very, <laughs> I'm laughing, it's not funny at all, but there was a, actually a tragic event that somebody in my family passed away and there was a few days between the time when they passed away and when the funeral was and I actually started to wonder like what happens with their body in the meantime, like even if I know like that they're not there anymore, I still can kind of still wonder like oh I hope they're still okay and I actually became fascinated with how somebody starts working in the morgue and how that comes to be. And I actually found out that people who I did research and people who work there are actually very happy people, and they're they yeah. joke around a lot and yeah. they have that kind of humor. So it, it was a very like there was kind of a duality there that I found yeah. really really interesting, interesting and that I wanted to work with. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more I could say, but I don't know how much time you have. So. <laughs> so what part did you play? I was the lead actress of the movie. So, so you were in the I morgue. I am the lead actress. I'm still in. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't change. So you were in the morgue itself. I was working in the morgue. Yeah. Well, not like not in real life, but in the movie. <laughs> you know, like because the way you were yeah. asking, I felt like. I'm sorry. Yeah. How many it's dead like bodies? Yeah. How many dead bodies did I touch? Oh my god. Yeah. So, what was your research process? Uh, because uh, did you obviously you wanted to portray the morgue, but you know. You seem like a happy person, too. <laughs> Actually, we worked a lot together, you know, since it was really a story that I, I've never really read something like this before. And I really wanted to make sure that I was on the right path. So I really, like, took some time with Marilyn and really sit down, read the script and, and really, like, make sure that I was, uh, you know, understanding the, the character and what she actually wanted me to, to not only embody, but to, to kind of, like... Uh, I don't know how to say um, the message that we really wanted to the, the, the audience to understand are because it's also a film about like finding your own place in there life and kind of transcending your family legacies yeah. that you know sometimes you you're like especially us that our parents are immigrants like yeah. you know they came to we're from Canada so they came yeah. to Canada and they work very hard yeah. and you kind of feel that pressure to succeed and yeah. to like do them justice you know yeah. mm. so it's like okay how do I how do I still honor that, but still Listen to make myself. my own path in yeah. life, yeah. even if it's not what they think I should do? Yeah. <laughs> so there's a bit of that too that goes into it, and there's also like a lot of reference to like the dream and supernatural yeah. elements of like the yeah. grandmother who's yeah. um, passed away. So yeah. So yeah, it's <laughs> there's, there's there's lots of stuff there that yeah. I think you you really took it and like gave it life. And also, like, one thing that I love doing for every character that I embody is really, like, take the time to understand, okay, is she more fire? Is she more earth? Is she more water? Is she mm-hmm. more air? And for me, Keri was definitely water. Uh, she she kind of, like, not only goes with the flow, but, like, you know, not, not necessarily knowing what to do, you know? And mm-hmm. she's at a, like, time in her life where she's, like, really, like, wondering the direction she should take and uh, the same way yeah she goes with the flow but she also has a lot of power mm-hmm. and um, yeah for me she was definitely uh, that well you know what I'll say this it must be a great short film because you, you, because you guys won, <laughs> we won. You, guys won. <laughs> you won so we will all have to check it out and yeah. hopefully it goes to more and more film festival congratulations yeah. Thank you Hopefully so much. it touches people. That I, yeah. That's all I want in the end. So. Well, from yeah. what we got yesterday, it was people were happy about it, and yeah, they kind of like yeah. felt related in a way to the movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Saxon. Thank you very Thank much. You for so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.